What's up, y'all, and welcome back to The Dose, where we are here to help leaders pivot into their next. My name is Alex Seal, and I've enjoyed 20 years with the world's most caring company, and I want to take leadership concepts and bring them to you in a digestible manner that will help you get into the next season of your leadership. Let's grow. What's up and what's happening, TPE family? We're back with another episode of The Dose, and I am here to talk to you about something that if you would have met me maybe 10 years ago, five years ago, that I was a mess, and that was time management and prioritization. Um, we all deal with time management issues. We all deal with, you know, what should we do first? Uh, what should we delegate? How do we manage the things that we are responsible for? And I want to talk through just a couple of things that I've kind of used and have observed at, of, of others that will help you be successful in this area. Before I jump into uh, the dose today, um, I want to point you guys into the direction of our website. That's www.tpenow.com, where you can book a free discovery call and get connected with us uh, to figure out how can we help you become a better leader. Myself and the other coaches here at the Pivot Experience, we have over 50 years of, of, of organizational experience that will help you pivot into your next. And so we're excited about that. And um, we're also excited about our monthly lead betters. Uh, go, you can register for these free events online this month we're going to have operator eric cinco who is in the houston area come on talk about uh, his journey and the things that he has dealt with um, in becoming an operator and his current experiences as a chick-fil-a operator um so let's just jump into the topic man and we're talking about again time management and prioritization and there's three things that i think that are key that if you're going to be successful in managing your time if you're going to be successful at this idea of prioritizing the things that you have to do, um, here's a couple of things. Number one, you have to learn how to set and achieve short term and long term goals. Um, do not diminish the value of taking some time out and identifying the areas in your life that you want to drive results and then set goals for them. I will tell you a lot of things that you want to accomplish in life will not happen unless you identify them and then set a target and then and then measure where you are in that regard. So definitely would like to just challenge you all to thinking about setting and achieving short term and long term goals. And here's a couple of things in this area that I think that can help you. Number one, setting smart goals. OK, uh, specific, measurable, attainable, um, uh, relatable and timely goals. Give yourself a a a mechanism or a system to be able to set great goals and then you will see the things that you want to have uh, realized in your life happen faster and so when you uh, identify what's important on the family front what you identify what's important on the professional front um, and what you identify just what's important on the personal front use a mechanism it could be smart goals it could be whatever you like but identify something that's going to help drive those go goals for you create an action plan um, if you don't use the smart goal method write it out what it is that you want to do and then give yourself a timeline and a deadline to achieve those things uh, and then regularly review and adjust a lot of times some you know I get caught up in this all the time and this is where the discouragement comes into play a little bit is that you set a goal and then that goal might be a little bit more lofty than what you can actually attain at the moment and then when you don't reach that goal you feel like you failed or you feel like you're not um, operating at the level of capacity that you think you should operate at. I would like for you just to take a moment to step back and look at where you're headed. What did you do to, uh, to get to the point to where you're at? And if you're falling short of the goal, you might have to make some adjustments. OK, so that's smart goals, action plans, and then regularly review and adjust Um your your plan. Uh, the next item in this in this uh, subject of time management and prioritization, we're going to be talking about balancing multiple responsibilities effectively. Here's the thing: most of the guys that I have an opportunity to work with, they have families, they they have multiple responsibilities on a job, and then they also have personal things that they want to accomplish. Whether that's from a fitness standpoint, a hobby standpoint, you want to pick up pickleball or whatever that is, you have to learn how to prioritize 
us what's important now, what's important tomorrow, what can wait today, what can I push off to next week. And so uh, one technique is delegating the things that um, that don't require your actual hands to do the work. Um, I always want to try to get myself in a position, ideally, to be able to do to be able to do the work that I only can do. Um, I talk to my operator all the time at Chick-fil-A. I say, man, I want you to be in a position to just do the work that you can do and we'll figure out the rest between myself and the other people who are working. You should look at your own life the same way. What are you doing that somebody else can do uh, just as good as you or if not just as good, but giving them some opportunity to grow up uh, or, or to or to develop into what you in a way that you can do it and then give them that task. Um, John Maxwell says that, that if a person can do something at 80 percent at of the rate that you can do it, let them have it. Craig Rochelle says if a person that you that's within your uh, circle of influence or, or, or on your team that can do something at 50 percent of the capacity that, capacity that you can do it with momentum. Let them do it. Um, you, number one, offload some things off of your plate um, while accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish. And here's the thing. You also give somebody else an opportunity to grow in advance. So I definitely want to encourage you to, to delegate. Also think about time blocking. This is something that I've had to try to um embrace and incorporate into my time management skills is to say, hey, for this hour or two, I'm working on this specific item, especially when you have competing priorities. It can get hard from going from one priority to the next, to the next, to the next within 10 minutes. And then you look up an hour later, you haven't gotten really anything done that was impactful or will drive the results that you want to drive in your life. So time block those things that you deem that are important and that you want to get across, make just block off the time for it. And then, and then use that block of time, whether that's an hour or two hours to just focus on that one uh, area to get as much done as you can can in that particular uh, regard. And the last thing, and I think this is the thing that I really leaned in the most is use tools and techniques for effective time management. And that's really in the, in the idea of, I'm going to just give you just a one uh, tip here is using your digital tools. Um, I personally use an app called Trello for all of my to do's. As soon as I think I need to do something, my phone is situated to where on my iPhone, the Trello app is, is in the, in the bottom dock. I'll, I have on my, uh, galaxy, I have the quick, uh, access the double tap button on the side and it opens Trello. So as soon as something comes to me, I have a mechanism to be able to jot it down. So I don't forget a lot of times we, uh, as leaders tend to like not leverage a to-do list or not leverage our digital tools. And we think that we're so great that our minds is going to house everything that we want to get accomplished. But I'm here to tell you that if you do that, you're setting yourself up for failure because yeah, you might be able to remember the majority of the things that you needed to do, but that one thing that you forget might be the most important of all the things you remember. Uh, so just Leverage those tools, leverage a calendar. Um, now, I know some of us, of us are still old school and we use a paper calendar, which is fine. I'm not knocking it, but you always have your cell phone on you. Je why not use that calendar to help re uh, regulate the things that you need to do? Uh, specifically, if you're time blocking, use that calendar for you to understand when you take look at that snapshot for the week. Well, I've allocated X amount of hours towards my health. I've allocated X amount of hours towards uh, my professional activities. I've allocated X amount of hours to my family, X amount of hours to uh, my entrepreneurial pursuits. Using the things that you have available to you uh, will help you uh, get better at this idea of time management and prioritization. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to uh, the dose really quickly for this tip um, on how to manage your time more effectively and to prioritize more effectively. Hopefully this has helped you. Um, and if it did, I, I would ask that you would share this content with somebody that um, needs it. Somebody you might know that have some difficulty in time management and difficulty in prioritizing the things that they need to do. Get this content to them so they can uh, leverage these things that we went over so they can incorporate it into their leadership. And you will uh, have a, a friend or somebody that you work with who is managing their time better, which in turn makes everybody's life a lot easier. So thank you guys again for tuning in. And until next time, TPE family, peace. 
What's up guys, here at the TPE, we're much more than your ordinary coaching brand. We're a, a team of coaches that have boots on the ground who have real world experience in the area of running big business. And so let's get connected, head over to tpenow.com and see how we can help you and your leaders pivot into the next.